What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Knives of the Round Table. My name is Marco and today we're taking a look at the Pena Knives Mini Diesel. So this version of the knife uh, was uh, a Knife Joy exclusive that came out here a couple months ago. And just so you know, it came with a with a fully brown uh, micarta handles on both sides. Now the combination of the Timascus and the brown micarta didn't really do it for me, so I attempted to dye it black. I semi failed. Uh, not sure why the micarta is not dying in 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 some areas, so it ended up kind of a very 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 dark brown. Uh, but I think it, it, it looks a lot better with, with the Timascus accents. I think the, the black is a better choice. I'll see if they if I can find like a black G10 or a carbon fiber aftermarket scale for it. But let me give you a tour of the knife uh, before we get started. So what you have here is, is, a, is a recurve. It's the slightest of recurves, but you have a kind of a recurve, compound grind, uh, not really tanto. Uh, you know, with a, with a swedge up here, you got a little bit of a thumb ramp. Uh, this is part of the X series. Uh, the X series is Pena Knives uh, collaboration with Riot. Uh, so that's kind of the production, the production arm of Pena Knives. He does a lot of custom knives. Uh, he's one of the he's one of the few knife makers that do stuff with Riot that does a lot of custom knives as well. Uh, You've got an M390 blade. We have a, a bolster lock in the handle. You have a bolster, you have a, a Timascus um, pivot ring and a Timascus pocket clip. And, um, and you have a, a blue anodized back spacer on it. Overall, I think it's a very attractive knife. Whenever uh, I saw, I saw the previous iteration of the mini diesel, uh, there was it was it was black and blue with a satin blade or where I, or with a black coated blade and they looked awesome and they were all gone by the time I started kind of getting into knife collecting but uh, when this one came out from from knife joy I kind of jump all over it I I'm really I'm really I'm really happy I got this so let me uh, give you a size comparison because this is a really really good size knife it's a uh, it's right in my sweet spot of 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 size. There's against your para two, and here against your para three. So it fits right into that in, into into the into the space between those two. It's probably about a three and a quarter inch blade, which is my ideal blade size. It's it's what I would consider that it's still a full size knife, a full size blade. I can get a four finger grip on it. But it, 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 it and, and nothing, nothing that I don't need. So three and a quarter is my perfect knife size. Uh, I go up to three and a half just because many knife makers consider three and a half to be the perfect knife size. Uh, but if I had my choice, most of my knives would be right at three and a quarter inches. Here's the size comparison against the bug out. So. Although it's so, so it's bigger than, than than both in length. It's probably similar to, to to the full size bug out, but it is a chunkier knife. It's it's certainly much thicker. So here, let me let me show you the thickness. So you can tell the thickness is 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 much thicker uh, for the for the Pena Mini Diesel. I'll show you here. Uh, I, I didn't show you the, the thickness against the the Spyderco. So you can tell if I line up the scales, it's much thicker. It's got thicker scales, uh, thicker liners, and also a thicker blade. So let's get started and let's talk ergonomics. And ergonomics on this knife are outstanding. It's, I wear size large gloves and because it's chunkier, I get a full four finger grip between this point of the knife and the, and the finger groove up here. I get a full grip on the knife. My thumb lands directly on this thumb ramp that is jimped, but it's really, really comfortable. It's, 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 it's one of the best jimmings I've ever felt. Just, it's, it feels very secure 
and it doesn't hurt any at all. So here's very nice. You can choke up. You got a forward finger choke up here um, that you can that you can use. It's not as comfortable in this position, uh, but in this position it is outstanding. Uh, no hot spots that I can that I can feel the the pocket clip kind of disappears in your hand. It just feels very very nicely. Uh, I think they could maybe round off a little bit more on the edge. It is rounded already, but I think the edge, they could have maybe rounded a little more, but I'm nitpicking at that point because I really think the ergonomics are phenomenal on, on this knife. Now the action, man, uh, Riot, you know, they do a lot of knives for a lot of people. And what that does is, well, it makes them a lot of money probably, but it also it also makes them uh, extremely proficient at, at doing action. Uh, Riyadh is quickly becoming one of the best actions in the market uh, for, for production knives. Uh, they, you know, the detent is perfect. It feels really, really nice. The, the action is, is just this controlled drop that I just like very much. It just, uh, I like when you just have to do a little bit of a coaxing to, to get it to drop. It's not much, it's it's almost just like a tiny little push to help along. And I think that's just perfect action. The deployment, it, even it's 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 a it's not a th it's not the thinnest blade in the world, uh, but it's but it just uh, it deploys fast, it deploys reliably. Uh, I think the action man on most on most knives made by Riot is just is just excellent. Uh, you know they they do the the Chavez knives, they do the Leong Ma knives, and all of those have just outstanding action. I think if you if you haven't given Riot knives uh, or Riot made not a chance, I really think you're missing out. I think you oughta you oughta give them a chance. And I understand that there's some reticence uh, to kind of support or to uh, buy Chinese made knives, but the quality that they're putting out and they're doing it for a lot of American uh, designers, uh, I, think, I think it's excellent. I think, I think they're worth, uh, you know, a try at least. So cutting, so cutting is, is actually, it's actually pretty good. Uh, so what happens is you have the slightest of recurves, and let me see if I can if I can try and uh, I'll attempt to show you. So so there's a, there's a straight edge. So hopefully you can tell that there's the slightest of recurves in there. And what that does is when you're when you're trying to cut stuff, the recurve kind of engages and it helps you to just push along material uh, very very well. It's it's a hollow grind. Uh, from here to here, so it comes down to a, to a to a nice and thin edge. Although it does get thick relatively quickly, it's not a tall blade. So uh, you know, draw cuts that are shallow are actually really really nice. Uh, once you start having to go through stuff, you know, the cardboard, uh, you know, processing uh, kind of thing, then it drops down to just an okay. A cutter, uh, it engages very well because of the recurve. So, so your your initial slice uh, is it starts to feel really really good. But as soon as you start getting to the thicker portion of the blade, you start to lose some of that some of that smoothness as you're putting through uh, as you're uh, as you're going through your cut. Now, uh, the tip is I love recurves. You've probably seen a bunch of them in my channel by now, and I don't and, and I haven't been doing videos very long. But you know, you have the the recurve, what it does, I mean not the recurve, the, the compound grind, what it does is that it, it makes for a very robust tip. And I'm not prying with my knife eh, at all eh, or ever, but I like to think that it that 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 I have I'd rather have a, a stronger tip than a more piercing tip. I don't have a lot of use for to pierce stuff. I mean, I mean, you have, I have to pierce tape on packages, and that's probably about it. Or 
you know, a bag of charcoal or those kinds of things. But for that, that tip is plenty. I mean, the tip of a pencil is plenty. So uh, I, I, I enjoy when they have a more robust tip. I think that just, it, it's, I think it's a better design and it, and it, it adds to the longevity of, of a knife. Now, fit and finish. Fit and finish is, is excellent, it's outstanding. And, and I'll go back to what I said on, on, on the action. I think they, they've done so many knives for so many different manufacturers that, 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 that their, the their fit and finish is, is, is outstanding. Uh, you know, the, the, the way this, this is anodized, the way everything fits together, there's absolutely no gaps whatsoever between the titanium and the G10. The blade came perfectly centered, as you can as you can tell right there. It's uh, the action is really really uh, nicely done, and this one, I usually prefer it when they have the grind lines going down and then they intersect with this one. But this one I think is a hand rub satin that goes in this direction as well as the flats, and I think that switch probably too. And it's just beautifully done. I mean, the 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 look on this is it just looks like a really really polished product. And and here's where where it gets where it gets tricky, right? Where you transition from the hollow to the flat, it's very easy if you're trying to do a, a hand satin to lose to round off to round off that transition right there, the transition between the flat and the and and the hollow here is very easy to round off and and also the transition from from the hollow to the flat of the tip or the flat grind of the tip that's very easy to do to, to do and the fact that it's kind of nice and crisp and a defined change from this plane to this plane is just outstanding i think the fit and finish on these knives is is just really really top notch uh, Airing of grievances, uh, dislikes, uh, two. Uh, one, I wish that uh, that this had been black. I think I think the comb I think it's a nice combination to have brown G10 with the titanium, but not the Timascus. But if you're gonna do the Timascus, I don't think that brown micarta is is the answer uh, in 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 that combination. Yeah. You can look at photos of what it was originally, but it was just your natural kind of tan micarta or brown micarta, and the combination with the Timascus, I just I just didn't like it at all. Uh, so so I tried to dye it. Uh, I think it improved, uh, but I think and and that's more of a of a, of a design uh, uh, preference. But it's 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 kind of what I what I think that 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 should have been done. Um, and then finally. Uh, it's a thicker blade, so the disengagement is not so much of a problem, but the 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 lock bar disengagement is at the same elevation as the as the lock as the as the show face scale. So I like it when they when they cut a little bit more off of this side, so that you can access the lock bar a little bit easier. It's still not hard uh, because there's a uh, there's a larger gap between the two liners, between the liner on this side and the lock liner, or the bolster lock. But uh, it it could be easier if they just cut out, if you just cut out a little bit more on this side, so that so that you could access it. Uh, usually that doesn't affect ergonomics too much. Uh, it might have even improved the ergonomics, so I would have liked to see a little bit uh, of, a, of a more uh, pronounced cutout on this side to access the lock bar. Otherwise, I think the Mini Diesel is just a really, really, really nice knife. I think the action is excellent, the materials, the fit and finish. I think the design is awesome. I think the recurve is very effective, but if I had my choice, I would have just done a flat, uh, uh, a flat edge on this side just so that so that it's easier to sharpen i um i enjoy sharpening my knives and i get i mean this is kind of one of the slightest recurves you'll ever you'll ever see but i get nervous uh, sharpening recurves uh, you know i i'm not a professional sharpener and i and i wish that was flat i i would have a much easier time uh sharpening the knife oh 
Another thing that I forgot to mention is that this has multiple deployment methods. You can do, you can use a, a thumb stud and it's very comfortable and you can use a flipper uh, just uh, for sake of completeness. Well, guys, uh, I'm not sure when these will be available again, but a lot of these knives, you have to kind of keep in the back of your head, oh, I want one of those. And you just have to have yourself a list and, and, and be cognizant that in the future they'll make another run of this, but you'll have to, you, you're gonna have to have to keep an eye on it and see where they're gonna drop, who's making it, or or contact Pena Knife, contact Enrique, and 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 see if they've got plans for it, because you know it's hard. You you make a video on a knife like this, and it's not available right now, but it will be. Okay, it will be. Why? Because it's a successful knife. It sells out every time they make it. So they and people want to make money. So 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 they'll they'll most likely do it again. I don't have any insider information. Okay, me and my team viewers have no contacts with Enrique Pena. But uh, all I'm saying is, if there's a knife that catches your eye, and I really highly recommend this one. This one's a really nice uh, size and and design and looks and everything. Uh, then keep an eye out because they will make them again and just just be ready to be ready to pull the trigger on on them uh, Guys, that's gonna do it for this one uh, If you liked it if you think I earned it then like and subscribe and don't get hit the notification button uh, You'll know where to find me if you ever want to watch one of my videos uh, And until I see you again, take care